So here is my pumpkin, lit up on my pumpkin altar. I just uploaded this video, so if you haven't seen my pumpkin manifestation spell, go check that video out. I'll try to link it here, but um, so just a kind of a follow up. I have been lighting this spell, or I'm sorry, lighting this candle on my altar every night. Um, it's just past midnight here, so I like to light it definitely around the midnight hour. But, but yeah, so I've been lighting it every night. I think what I'm going to do is once this candle is done, I mean, I want to keep it going, I think, until I feel like the pumpkin is no longer fresh. So I do have a green candle, but um, that I was going to use once the gold candle was done, but it's been taking so long. This gold candle is not, it's not quick. It's so, it's going down really, really slowly. And it's not making a lot of wax either, if you can tell. It's like minimal wax. So I'm sure that means things. I already have thoughts coming to mind what that could mean. But, but yeah, so just like I said, following up, I'm lighting it every night. I'm kind of refocusing my intentions on it when I light it. And that, that's pretty much what I've been doing. And I'll, once I get rid of it, I think what I'll do is actually maybe, maybe bury it or maybe just bury like, maybe like this part of it I'll bury. I'm not sure. I mean, I have a yard. I can dig a hole. I mean, it's kind of big, but I can, I can dig it up and put it in there. But then <laughs> will I have pumpkins <laughs> next year? I doubt that, but, but yeah. So it's, like I said, it's past midnight. Um, everybody is sleeping except for Charlie. My husband and the boys are asleep. I think my oldest is asleep. I'm not sure. Just me and Charlie. Right, Charlie? What do you got? Just me and Charlie hanging out. It is. Oh, no, actually it's a little later than, it's a little, it's almost one now. Up. I just wanted to do a few things. I'm watching a little practical magic. Pull them out here. I was looking at the moon earlier. It's really bright at the front of my house tonight. I wonder, this camera is so expensive, but. I don't think I can zoom in on the moon. No, I can't. But anyway, let me come back in. Hey. I just want to make a little tea. I'm not sure what kind of tea I'm going to make. And I have this story kettle, so this water will be hot in no time. So I'm going to be making my rose hip tea and sage tea. Oh, oh good. A little sage. It's like, it's, I don't know, it's an acquired taste. I love, I love this though. I'm doing everything one-handed. It's fucking strange. The star. It's the little symbol. The tie is in this round, so it doesn't fall in. You can't stop criminals in their tracks. So. And now you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Maybe. Oh man, you still can't see it. My. Sanderson. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's really cute though. You just have to trust me. And a little lemon. I used to do lemon and honey all the time, but like I said, lemon, I'm sorry, honey can really raise that glycemic index and get yeah. insulin going Where in you your body. So I prefer not to 
Um, I just prefer not to raise my glycemic index as much as I can. <sighs> okay, I don't know how everything looks here, but I'm gonna probably just go with it. So, hi, um, I'm Angela and this is La Luna Ray. I just wanted to do a quick video because I wanted to, I want, I don't know, I'm, I felt like making a tarot bag and I thought I could just quickly record this and put it up on my channel. For anybody that's interested in making tarot bags, I don't know how many people out there sew anymore, but I have a cute tiny itty bitty little sewing machine that works fine for making little little things. I don't I don't make dresses or anything. Um, but and I also wanted to show you my tarot journal because I um, updated it. I know I showed it on my channel during my let's chat video um, and at that time it was it was like totally different. I mean now I made it more flower. I changed everything. I made it more flower themed and I really like it. I hope it's like and so I'll just show you real quick. Like I said, I made it with three envelopes. In the previous video I said that. And I think you can see that I've already... Or no, you can't see. So on this side, you can see that I've already started like journaling some of my card pulls. So I love it. I've got all this different types of meat, like um, paper media like all kinds of different types so it's got a very like unique junk journal feel to it so i'm like really actually really excited i love it i've got the little pockets here for like if i'm concentrating on cards or even if i'm making petitions i almost want to maybe make this a little more all-encompassing and kind of just catching everything in that moment my petitions my moon magic, my thoughts about like anything, kind of making this more of a journal that I will kind of use for maybe the month or two months, however long it takes me to get through it. Um, and kind of adding more, like layering it with more like pocket stationery and all kinds of things. And then it's, it opens up actually more, let me show you. Opens up, no, I'm doing it wrong. This is so confusing this way. Oh, here it is. Okay, so it opens up this way as well. This is a little, this is backwards. I did that backwards. It's okay, because I hang flowers upside down all the time when I'm trying to dry them out, so that's how I, I decided to look at it. But yeah, so I'm gonna add more things on top of what's already here to kind of add more pockets or maybe even add more paper if I feel like it. That's the best part is that I can do whatever I want. I'm gonna have to turn down the TV and I love these stickers. But anyway, yeah, and more pockets. That's what I was trying to show you here. There's another pocket on this end and another pocket. It's like right, if I can open it. Oh my God, right in here is another pocket. Um, but yeah, so that's it. That's the, that's the journal. That's my tarot journal slash all-encompassing journal. I'm gonna make another one. I don't know. I just really like doing it and I'm Hold on. I'm having a good time doing it. So We'll see. Did I do this right? Yeah All right, so that is my tarot journal. It's closed again. Really pretty. Love the flower scheme. So there's that What I'm gonna do is I think, I don't know, I want to be able to show you what I'm doing, so I'm thinking I have to move the camera down so you can see this whole situation, like what I'm, I don't know, give me a minute because I also want to pick up, I haven't even picked up, I don't even, I don't have anything set up yet, so let me just show you what I'm doing. I have the Terra of the Abyss, I, um, my camera doesn't want to focus on anything, I love this, this deck. It's by Anna Torin, and I love her artwork. And I had a smaller version of it, and I really liked it, and I decided I wanted the bigger version, and the version that came with her 
book. And so I ordered it and I got it today. And I absolutely love her artwork. Her artwork is so, so, so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? What is this one? The Justice card. And if you look, my freaking, oh, maybe it will. You can see the scales, the Justice scales in her eye. Isn't that artwork freaking gorgeous? I love her artwork. So I'm in love with the phone. And look at this hermit. Absolutely gorgeous. So much wisdom in every wrinkle on this lady's face. I love, I love it, love it, love it. Um, and her full. I love the lines. I love the, like the the fluidity in her lines and in her drawing. And I love how everything is coming to life. And I actually really like the black and white scheme. I think this deck is gorgeous. I'm really into her artwork and I got into her artwork sorry my dog is out there and I'm making sure he's not doing anything crazy I got into her artwork when I got the bone stone and earth flesh tarot I love that deck that is my deck I won't read anybody else on it that is for me um and then I saw the terror of the abyss because she did the artwork for the bone stone earth flesh and so I noticed she also had her own deck and so I went and got it, and I am just amazed by every single one of these cards. And I also um, wanted the book. So I haven't gotten to her guidebook yet. I mean, I, re I read a little bit of it. it I mean, it, it seems decent. But yeah, I love the Bone Stone and Earth Flesh guidebook a lot, too. So anyway, so I got this deck today. I got the big one. And so I'm super excited about making a tarot back for it because this is going to be an important deck for me and so that's what I'm going to do tonight I'm always up until like 3 a.m doing random things and then I still get up between 9 and 10 and and I just <laughs> I sleep but I don't get like a ton of sleep I literally I think I sleep like six to seven hours is that right four five six seven eight nine nine to ten yes yeah, so six to seven hours it's actually not a bad amount honestly but it's just weird timing because i'm a night shift nurse and so i'm always i just have weird i have a weird schedule it's very odd for me to go to bed at like eight o'clock at night or whatever time normal people go to bed i have no idea so let me get my fabric out so i can show you um or i i just want to pick out my fabric so hold on yeah that's fine okay um i have all this so I love this time of year because when you go to the fabric stores and just any store, you have all of the Halloween stuff out. And I feel like it's Halloween for me like all year long because I love, I just love the spooky ambiance of every, <laughs> at all times of the year. So like I told you, I got the Sanderson. I might be able to see it better now, but, or not. I don't know. I got this. I keep wanting to show it to you. I got the Sanderson mug at Spirit Halloween and, hold on. I've been going everywhere and getting all this fabric because I'm making these tarot bags now. So this fabric is actually really pretty. It's a like skulls web. So I might use this one. I need two. There's this one. It's like a black with moons and I don't even know. Look like little stars, I guess. Black background with pink moons and stars. That would be cute together. That would not be, right? Like that wouldn't be bad together because I need, I need two fabrics. There's, this one is so cute. I love this. Um, It's just a lot of witchy content. It looks like, like on a shelf or something with like a purple background and stars. Witches had and pumpkin and skulls and potions and all the things. This one is really pretty too. It's just, it's just plain though. It's pink, skulls, leaves. It's fine. I've got, these are really good. They're super tiny. You get them at Walmart for so cheap. I don't know, a dollar something, two dollars and something maybe. But, um, and it's plenty of fabric to make just 
a tarot bag, so I like grabbing these too. This is like the black with the feathers. Um, I have more fabric, but I don't. For that bag, I'm sorry, for that. For that deck, I think I'm gonna go with these two that I picked out first. I think they're really good together. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with these two. All right, so let me, all right, I gotta pull out a bunch of stuff. You already saw, I'm gonna be using these two fabrics. So just the two fabrics that you like that kind of complement each other. Then other things that I like to use is, mm -mm 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 -mm. let me see here. I have everything. Scissors. I like to mark things sometimes, so that's my little marker. Um, a glue stick. I've got my little, my, you need like pins. Right, and then I have my itty bitty, like handheld sewing finger sewing like I don't even know whatever stitch quick I got it at Walmart for twenty dollars it seems so random but I need this straw it's a metal straw it's the one that works and then I need this this little skewer <laughs> it's weird but I need those things and then I need um this I use to help me measure out my fabric So I had this in my other video, um, and I showed the whole mat, and oh, now my cards are falling. Out. Showed the whole mat for my haunted tarot, um, haunted house tarot. So this was the mat, and I like it, but you know what? I think I want to make this actually way bigger. I kind of followed the dimensions of the video. I was watching some Witch of Wonderlust video and the, I kind of followed her dimensions and I actually think I want to make this, I think I want to make it a little bigger, especially when I'm doing like a Celtic cross. I guess if I was this way, I could do the Celtic cross, but I like want it just a smidge, just a smidge bigger. And I think I want to change this, oh can you see, Here. this tie. I think I want to make it longer maybe and I don't want it on the edge I think they had theirs on the edge I think I want mine in the center because then I can I guess it doesn't really matter because eventually you turn it now I still want it on the center because then it could be like right here yeah I want it in the center because I want my tag my little tail to come out there um let me do this again now I'm doing this wrong my movie's ending, so now I'm gonna want a different movie in the background. It's too quiet. Yeah, see, like, it's off to the side, and I don't really like that. All right. It's fine. I'm going to do it a little differently this time, which is... What I'm going to do is like, oh, you know what? I need three fabrics. I almost forgot about that. I need three fabrics, not two. I know, this one I only need two. It's a different thing I need three. All right, anyway. I'm going to start putting my pins everywhere. I don't know how long or, I don't know, it stopped recording on me. Anyway, I was saying how me and my family have one tradition that we, I mean, we have lots of little things that we like to do during this time of year, but one thing we like to do is watch scary movies because I love scary movies so much. And so we, one year, watched all of the Halloweens. There's like 11 of them and not all of them are great. Some of them suck, but we watched every single one. And that was fun. So this year we were talking about maybe watching all the, the Jasons. 
but I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that because Jason's kind of boring to me. But it would be fine to like watch them all. But last night, and I'm last night because it, it's past midnight now, but last night we watched Candyman after dinner. And actually really the first one, the original, you know, the very first one. So that was really, oh wait, I did this wrong. Oh wait, am I doing this wrong? Yes, I am. What you want to do is face your fabrics, like the print, the outside print. You want to face the outside prints and have them looking at each other. Let me flip this this way, I think. It won't matter, but you just want to have them pretty matchy matchy. Oh my gosh, hold on. I'm like having a little issue. There we are. Better. So there we are, pretty matchy matchy. And then back in with your pins. I guess I could have cut them that way and I didn't, it doesn't matter. And again, stay a little further from your edges because you're gonna be sewing. And so if your pins are super close on the edge, then you're gonna, they're just gonna be in the way. So like I said, we watched Candyman last night. The first one, I like the new one. The new one's not bad, but I watched the first one last night and I forgot how much I love that movie and how much it scared me when I was little. I was like, the movie, I watched it by myself when I was like, I don't know, 11 years old or something. It freaking terrified me. <laughs> My dad was so pissed because I left every single light on when I went to bed because <laughs> I was terrified. I was like, oh, hell no, I will not be in the dark. I will not be seeing Candyman tonight. How many times did I say his name already? Holy crap. Anyway, so we watched that last night and it was so good. We're gonna have to watch all of them now. I think it would be good to watch all of them. The second one, there's a third one. They probably suck. I don't care, let's watch them. All right, so now you have everything ready to sew, but I have to make my sash. So now I have to decide if my sash is going to be this fabric or this fabric. Okay, so I'm gonna use this one for my sash. All right. And I want it to be kind of long. Oh yeah, like this length would be good. I want it to be kind of long, so. It doesn't need to be perfect. Nothing has to be perfect. If you know me, I'm not about perfection. I'm about kind of getting it done as quickly as you can and keep it nice. All right, cut. Yeah, because I want to iron this down and make it like stay. I have all my pins in. They're like all in closer to the edge, if that makes sense. So I can do my sewing and not have my pins in the way. And I already have black thread. You can't, oh, well, maybe you can see it. I don't know, right there. Black thread in not the top and not the bottom, whatever, it's a sewing machine. So I am going to get started. I like to have my little pin cushion nearby. I'm trying to see if you can see. Okay, you can see all right though. It's not like, it's a sewing machine. Sometimes it gives me hell, sometimes it doesn't. What? Like aim for kind of like the middle-ish area for like sewing my, you know, sewing this together. to stop and pull my pins out as I go. I don't know, I just do. It's good. All right, and then oh, pull my string. Snip, snip. 
Okay, so it's okay. It's like it's like a quick little stitching. It's I don't know. It's not it's not perfect or anything. It's really it's just quick. I am going to cut my excess off so I don't confuse myself. And by excess, I just mean cutting off all that extra fabric that is um, just an excess. So I'm going to cut it all off. So I'm going to close on this side. And what I mean by close is actually take my thread and um, sew it like shut. I'm going to do it on a curve though. You could do it straight across to shut it, but I'm going to actually curve it. All right, now it's it's on a curve. And I'm going to, again, cut my excess to follow my curve. It's fine. So now my excess is cut and I've got, I don't know, this whole thing. In order to turn it inside out, you see that I Close it off at the end here so it's all curved off. And then I'm going to take my metal straw and put it. Oh, I meant to curve it on the other side. It's fine, but that's not what I want to do. Anyway, put your straw through. There it is. Okay, and then I get my skewer. I always go back and forth if I want to use the pointy side or not. I'm going to not use the pointy side this time. But I think I need to sometimes. Anyway, you push it in. Push it in, push it in, push it in, push it in. Until it comes out on the other end. And this sometimes takes a little. There it is. So you see, like, that part that, that, part that I sewed off the end on on a curve is now right here can you see no it won't do it oh now you can see is that the anyway you can barely see it but i'm gonna grab that that fabric i'm gonna grab it so i'm holding it on onto it and i'm taking my little skewer out and now i'm going to pull at the end here and it's gonna start coming out like on the right side do you know what I mean so it's gonna be pulled inside out and now I have my sash sewed up um, and the little end is closed up because I closed it uh, yeah so anyway that's the sash really easy and I don't know why, but this works. I When I watched the video, she said to use... I got making the sash from a different video, not from Witch of Wonderless. She did differently. Um, but when I watched the video, the person that told me how to use the sash, she said she was using like a paper straw and a, a knit, a knitting, you know, stick. And I have a knit stick. It doesn't work as well as the skewer, and I have a oh, white. I don't have a paper straw. I have this metal straw, and this was working great. So, so yeah, that's what I did, and it worked. All right. So next is this. I'm going to be sewing this. Now, one thing I need to remember, and I like to mark it because I won't forget, is that I need to leave a part open. So I'm going to have like, I'm going to be sewing everywhere except for right between my fingers. That's going to stay open because that's where I'm going to use to pull this whole thing inside out again. And then I'm going to put the, the frayed in of my sash. That's going to be sticking out of my mat. So I got to shove my whole sash inside the little inner parts of my, of these two pieces. So in my sash goes, and I'm going to pay attention to make sure I put the little knitted side, the closed side, 
into my in between. So shove, shove, shove. Give me a second while I shove. Now the end of the frayed end or the open end of my little sash is sticking up. I've got it like I eyeballed it. It's fairly center. And I'm gonna make sure that it gets sewed down. So I'll move my camera so you can kind of see me sewing the sides here. And this little sewing machine is super cute because I can actually like, um, I can actually it, like start it and it, oh, yeah, and it keeps going. I don't have to hold it, I just like to. All right, I'm going to sew down my sash on this edge and I'm going to leave a big space so that I can pull this right side inside out. All right, so moved all my pins out of the fabric my edges are all sewn and so what I'm going to do is cut off like the excess I don't want any excess so what I mean excess is like basically above the stitching because that's just more fabric that I don't need and I'm going to get rid of it well it's all sewn and I'm going to find my edge here it is this is the edge that is open for me. So I'm going to completely dig in there and start turning this inside out. So it is now inside out and go digging around for your corners get your corners out oh my gosh just digging getting those corners out um where's that hole here's that hole Sometimes you really got to like get those, like reach in there and actually push on those corners to make sure they actually come all the way out. So I'm going to find the next corner. I think this one's actually not bad. Yeah, that's good. And then this corner. It's like the corners always need a little help. Okay, so now it's totally, it is inside out. And it's done. It's like pretty much done. The only thing I have left to do is close up this little hole here. And what I also like to do is actually do another stitching on the corners on the outside. I just, I don't know. I like to just do a quick stitching around the corner. Like, I might be able to show you better with this. I do the stitching kind of like around the corner, right around the corner edge just because I want it to stay. Makes me feel better. This is when the iron is really helpful because it really helps to get those corners laid down. And just really the whole thing. I like to quickly iron out the whole square. Okay, my battery died, so I had to change the battery. Okay, so I ironed the whole thing. I ironed my sash. So it's looking pretty good, right? So pretty. Now I'm going to, like I said, I want to sew those corners. And, oh, and sew up the hole that I turned it inside out through. There it is. And there's my sash. Um, so I'm going to turn it back this way and 
gonna get the cards out of the box. Ooh. All right, so there are the cards. Again, love these cards so so much. Anyway, so um, I'm going to wait this side. I'm gonna put it like right here in the center pretty much. Then I'm going to wrap my cards in and then go ahead and wrap my mat and tie my thing and that's good. Oh, you know what I, said? I usually like to do is um, put a knot. I forgot about that. I like to put a knot at the end of my, you know, at the end of this string, like a knot there. I like a double knot. I forgot about that. So there, a double knot at the end. And that's it. And that is my tarot mat slash, and I like how big this one is. It's much bigger than my old one, my other one that I made. So then I'm able to um, have just bigger, a bigger space for readings, right? I love. A bigger space. Especially if I do the Celtic cross. I don't always do a Celtic cross. But if I did, I would have enough space. Look at that. Like, plenty of space. I really, really like it. So pretty. Okay. Yeah. Well, hopefully you like this video. Hopefully you got something out of it. It's kind of a video between videos. I kind of just wanted to catch up and share my late night crafting with you. Um, I'm going to get some sleep because I am tired. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.